my name is Kabela Makwane. I'm the managing exec responsible for cloud hosting and security in Vodacom business. What COVID has done uh, for a lot of remote workers uh, and in the hybrid work mode for enterprises uh, is a couple of things. One is um, enterprises have uh, woken up and, you know, to the realization that being able to run a, a hybrid workforce is a real possibility uh, and actually could be a strategic imperative. So we've seen a lot of enterprises uh, moving into more permanent arrangements around hybrid work. You know, people working remotely versus people that would come into the office, especially when there's limitations around space uh, due to social distancing uh, considerations. Uh, for the remote workers themselves, it's brought to bear the responsibility of having to actually be a champion and an active participant in making sure that devices are secure, information is secure uh, across all devices, whether it be a, a mobile phone, a, a tablet device, a laptop, computer, uh, and the like. The responsibility of, of security has shifted and effectively is shared between the IT department or IT uh, specialists for, for smaller enterprises uh, you know, in the same vein and just as well for, for the user uh, of, of the information and, and the devices. From a cloud perspective, uh, we've seen, given the fact that there's been a spike in, in, in an increase in, uh, in phishing, hacking attacks uh, uh, based on social engineering and the like, we know that if, what's going to be required is that natively uh, the cloud platforms um, should become more secure. In other words, they should have more intelligent security services running uh, that can enable users and certainly uh, make sure that uh, the environment in which they are operating in uh, helps them as well, uh, just in terms of uh, you know closing the gap in in, in uh, the security or potential security vulnerabilities that may exist uh, for users of of SaaS based services. What do I mean by this? Uh, art, we're seeing more and more artificial intelligence being embedded in inside cloud, cloud platforms uh, from a security perspective, and artificial intelligence in form in the form of security analytics. Um, and security analytics are a mechanism that basically uses trending of, uh, you know, the, the environment, uh, behavioral, uh, you know, analysis uh, of the environment, traffic analysis, uh, and, and, and effectively deriving insights from, uh, from these trends uh, to provide proactive uh, advice uh, to uh, the security specialists and security professionals and users alike of potential vulnerabilities uh, that could emanate from uh, from from intrusive uh, behaviors or potential emerging hacks. In the SME space, where I guess most SMEs would not have the luxury of a big IT department, which would you know take care of all these different facets and components. Um, in those SME environments, you may find that it's a ten-man, you know, operation, or you know, or even a two-man operation in the in the Soho space. Uh, the the basic, just doing the basic uh, fundamental things like password protection and making sure that there's regular password updates, uh, which applies to SME as as well as it applies in the large enterprises, is very very fundamental. Uh, having good antivirus uh, software. Um, is also a fundamental practice which is not complex uh, and it does not require uh, too much expert uh, type of uh, uh, capabilities uh, from, a, from an IT professional. Email security uh, is, is something also uh, very, very simple um, and, and is not complex to deploy but can be fundamental in, in protecting against uh, malware, uh, phishing exercises, and so on with the right uh, email content filtering uh, security applications. These applications can be consumed on a subscription basis, downloadable at any given point in time, and users can subscribe for them and unsubscribe for them at will based on their changing uh, you know, financial needs uh, and so on. So it doesn't have to be a big effort uh, from that perspective. Typically SMEs don't also have uh, you know, big deployments and therefore may not necessarily need uh, a, a big firewall 
uh, to, to kind of protect the environment. What they may want to consider though is from a perimeter perspective, their, their websites uh, are situated or are hosted uh, with reputable uh, website uh, hosting uh, providers uh, and those host, ho website host, hosting services uh, also comply to the base, the fundamental uh, security uh, requirements uh, for, for client information uh, protection. All of this has to be effectively governed uh, by a security and risk management framework or approach. Um, security is the responsibility of everyone in, in the organization and not just the IT department. And, and, and this is important uh, as you deploy a security strategy because it is only as effective as, as its weakest link. And typically, in most cases, people are the biggest uh, in security vulnerability and people pose the weakest link in, in deploying a, a, a comprehensive approach um, from, a, from a security strategy uh, and governance perspective. When we think about the impact of Vodacom business in, in our digital society, there's a number of ways in which we, we make a meaningful impact. One of the ways is basically through uh, our, partner, our various uh, modes of partner engagement. And, and these partners are integral in how we solve for societal challenges and societal issues. We have a meaningful to, role to play uh, through our indirect channel, uh, reseller channel, where through the, the various uh, franchisors, uh, the retail outlets, as well as uh, uh, the partners associated uh, with that network, we are able to make our products uh, more, more broadly available uh, to all the businesses, the small home offices, and the society that, that needs them while at the same time empowering a broad channel of, uh, of uh, SMEs and businesses uh, to build their businesses on the back of uh, the services and products that we, we take to market. And then maybe last but not least, uh, we continue to run a very effective SME uh, program, both through our marketplace as well as uh, through very formal uh, SME onboarding and support uh, where you know, SMMEs are very capable of innovating at pace, innovating very fast to, to, to solve for societal challenges or business challenges. And it's, it's through this that we are able to then, you know, bring them on board and provide them with a requisite platform and the scale uh, to impact society and impact businesses at a larger, at a larger scale uh, based on their technology. So we believe uh, very firmly in making sure that as we also build our own capability, our network capability, uh, that we should look for opportunities to onboard uh, you know, partners, uh, either as, as direct service providers or partners that uh, effectively co-build and co-create you know, value-added services on top of our, our platform, uh, both in the mobile platform and, and, and uh, sort of uh, our network infrastructure platforms. Uh, and it's, it's through this that we have a number of uh, over-the-top service providers, virtual service providers who bring services to communities that, that are meaningful to them, uh, built on the Vodacom uh, networks and, and Vodacom platforms.